Now, can you hear me? Yeah. Now, let me start with the questions. How many times have you gotten active when you, bear no, when you have been in a situation of a threat? Well, my guess would be that every single time. And now, think of a situation where you have got active and you weren't threatened, and actually you were in a pretty comfortable situation. Now, you would question me, why should I, as I'm feeling well? And this is exactly the problem that we are facing right now with climate change. And as a matter of fact, uh, climate change and smoking have quite a lot of bit in, in common. So on the, they're both deadly, and their consequences and their riskiness are well known and well communicated to society. So you know these little nasty pictures of lung cancer on the cigarette packets? Well, they don't stop people from smoking. But if one cigarette would give you lung cancer, nobody would. So let's take a look at the graph behind me. What you can see here is a carbon dioxide emission of the past 150 years until 2010. And afterwards, we have two lines. The blue dotted line, you can see which goes straight up, is or represents the future in the worst possible way we are going to live in. And the green line you can see represents a hope. And right now, as we are standing here, we are at a position where we have to make a decision whether which way we want to go. And of course, there are a lot of projects ongoing. There's a lot of people putting a great effort in putting uh, all sort of projects off the ground. There are huge, large-scale renewable energy projects ongoing. Uh, for example, offshore wind miles, solar power plants, hydropower plants, and so on. There's a lot of research and development ongoing, especially in the field of energy uh, efficiency and of uh, improving existing technologies. So now the thing is, if I stand in front of this huge project, I feel this tiny. And I get the impression that anything what I might contribute is of no difference. And actually, I see in the media, the big boys and the big girls of politics and of industries taking care of the problem. And I see even they are struggling so hard and they are not able to put a decision behind a summit after summit, agreement after agreement is failing. So again, I feel if they are failing, how should I be able to accomplish something? I get the feeling that the only thing that I might possibly be doing is to save energy, to reduce my activities. And as we all know, to constrain myself never is fun. So if anybody of you ever tried to, to lose weight or to quit smoking, you know how hard it is to change your behavior and how easily it is to fall back on all customs. So the problem is that if we want to have a meaningful change, we will need to take along every single body of us. So as a matter of fact, if we want to stop global warming, we will need to change the one thing that led us to the point where we are standing right here. And this is our behavior. And this is crucial. So the thing is, or the, the question I'm having right now is, how are we going to accomplish this? How are we going to be able to motivate a lot of people to change their behavior and to get active and to motivate them on a positive way? And you know what gets people moving? There are a lot of, uh, or, or what I want to introduce you is uh, of social game mechanics. Uh, these guys happen to motivate people to get, uh, 
well, they happen to motivate people in a way that they spend lots of money and lots of time on sometimes even the silliest things. So I looked at them and I said, wow, they know how to motivate people. And actually, we get motivated if we have a direct and immediate experience with things. We get motivated if we are part of something bigger, if we are part of a group or a community with a common goal. We want to join our forces and we want to get things done together. It is so much more rewarding. Actually, we like to collaborate and we like to communicate with each other. We like to compete with others and we also like to measure our activities and what we have accomplished. We like to get rewarded for what we have done. Of course we do. And we want to have fun. We want to have fun by doing things, by getting things done. So by doing all these things I just have named, what happens is that I get visible within a community, within a group. And let me just show you how visibility works. So could you please switch off the lights? Now, as you can see, or well, actually not see, right now we are saving energy. Right now we are reducing carbon dioxide. Right now we are doing something against climate change. Now, the only problem is that I'm standing in the dark. I barely can see anything. You can't see anything. So this is not really communicative, and actually it's not very funny to stand up here like this. So it doesn't motivate me necessarily to get on with saving energy. So could I get the lights back, please? And this is exactly what, how changers came to life. This is exactly what we are aiming for. So what changers is about is to make carbon dioxide reduction visible by producing energy. So what Changes is about is to help you make a decision. It helps you to produce your own energy, and it helps you to change the world. Now, think of a self-conscious community with a common goal and what they can achieve, what they can accomplish. Think of what they can do in order to save our planet, in order to fight against global climate change. So what we do with Changers is we provide the tools to get people to produce their own energy, even if they're on the move, if they're sitting in their garden, or if they're living in a flat, in a rented flat in the middle of the city. So what we do is we connect people through the sun, and the sun is accessible to 7 billion people. Now, we let or we enable people actually to produce their own energy and to show that they care and to show that they want to get active. And by producing or by having people having the experience of producing energy, what you get is they get in contact with energy, they get another notion, they get awareness of what energy is about. So what we get is a gain of consciousness, we get a gain of knowledge, and I think this is when things start to get pretty interesting. Now, what you can see here, our tools. With these little devices, we make it really convenient and really fun to our community to produce their own energy. And well, now you might think of all the functions they have and everything, but without going too much into detail, uh, by having these devices, your phones, your tablets, portable game consoles, cameras, and so on, will never run out of power again. Plus, 
you will make around 75% of your devices independent from the grid. Okay, but what really matters is the intelligence within our device, because you know this little guy can do quite much more than just store your energy. What this does is it measures and it counts the amount of energy you have produced when you have produced it, and with this, it measures and counts the amount of energy, uh, sorry, the amount of carbon dioxide you have saved. And with the IP of the device, we will be able to connect any product, any device that produces green energy to our community, and we can then make your contribution to fight against climate change visible. So what we do on Changers is we make your contribution visible and reward you for exactly the thing, for saving carbon dioxide. You can share it with your friends. You can share it with the rest of the world what did it. And so on changes.com, what I do is I get a lot of information on how many carbon dioxide I've saved, the achievements of the community, and I get the information about the, so, well, let's say it the other way. So the achievements of the community and my own achievements within the community become visible, they become measurable, and they, can, they become comparable. So there it gets really funny. And you know what perhaps motivates me most, actually, is that for every single watt hour of energy that I produce, and with this carbon dioxide that I save, I earn one changes credit. And I will be able to redeem these changes credits on our platform or at partner shops. So from this very moment on, from this point on, every usage of the changes credit, whether you spend them or you accept them, will be taking part, will be taking action against climate change. And now, actually, what we have accomplished and what happens right now is that we all together are creating by ourselves our own currency backed by the sun, just by changing my behavior and just by producing and by using my own energy. So let's not leave the decision makings and the problem solvings to the politicians and to the industrials. It is up to every single one of us to fight against global climate change. So it is in our hands, and we should really get things going. And therefore, I want to thank you. Thank you very much.